In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Everybody, welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson. Oh, look, here comes uh, Tom Servo, Crow T Robot. Hello. Evening. Hey, come on up here, you guys. I want to show you this toothpick sculpture I've been working on for the last three years. You've been working three years on that? Well, yeah, on nights and weekends. Not very good. Uh, I mean, uh, what is it? It's a scale reproduction model of Monticello rendered in toothpick. I got the idea off the nickel, see? It's beautiful. Ooh. Where'd you get all the toothpicks? What, are you kidding? We're on a spaceship. This place is crawling with toothpicks. Yeah, well, it really is cool, Joel. Uh, of course, you know we'll have to break it. <laughs> it's nothing personal, you understand. It's just a thing we have to do. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Hmm? Uh huh? Sure, go ahead. That's why I made it. Smash oh. away. No, no, no. Joel, you're really? ruining it for me. Yeah, I'd feel dirty. Commercial oh, oh. sign in five seconds. Sure seems like a waste it being all toothpicky and fragile and all. Commercial, Commercial sign, sign now. I'm just going to leave it here, unattended, to dry. Now, we'll be right back. So how was it for you? Well, as far as breaking stuff goes, it was good, not great. Yeah, not as good as that ceramic bell collection. Oh, mm. oh Milovitz and Associates are calling. Oh. Hey, and this? Oh, let me see. Oh, <laughs> that's my old head. <laughs> Just file that under Frank's first head, OK? Right. Oh, hi, Joel. Uh, Look, we're way too busy to even do an invention this week. We're being audited. You go right ahead, though. It's a Doc Tari stool. <laughs> what do you think, sirs? Doc Tari stool? Whatever. Anyway, Joel, it's a madhouse down here. Uh, we're being audited by the Fraternal Order of Mad Science. You know, one of those are you really mad enough sort of things. Frank? <laughs> Free Jarvik Sevens. Put them in the junk drawer. Jeez, didn't the temp agency test you on any of this stuff? Well, I'm a little off my game. I'm not normally required to wear a leg iron like this. Say, what is the deal with this guy and those cute robots? Listen, Mr. $4.25 an hour. You stick with the boxes, and I'll handle the experiment. Is that all right with you? Frank, can I see you a minute? Sure thing, Dr. F. Say, Steve, this temp stuff is working out great, don't you think? Well, I'm so glad your little friend is working out so nicely, Frank. Now, what about sending Joel the movie, a boob? Oh, the movie, the movie, the movie. Oh, for the love of movie. the movie. Movie, 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 uh, movie. Oh, Frank, look. Remember? The double butt graft. My science project from Evil Oaks. I grafted the butt of a dog onto the butt of a cat. Sure, they all laugh. Dr. F, the movie, the movie. Oh, right. Uh, here it is. Mitchell, starring Joe Don Baker. You guys watch Joe Don Baker movies? Oh, look, just get back to work, temp boy. Right. Well, here it comes, Joel. Mitchell, it's a super secret spy, has a motorcycle, marooned in space, meets Hercules, or not. Uh, watch it and weep, Joel Prawl Mall. Send him the movie, Frank. 
drink. The movie. I like the way you support oh, the oh, 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 we go! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, look, a sex film. Mittens? An action film called Mittens? Joe Don Baker is Mittens. He's a cop. Mithril. Oh, wait, it's Mitchell. Oh, the Martha Mitchell story. Joe Don Baker is Martha Mitchell. Yes. <laughs> it's Bigfoot. Who's the puffy guy who's the big, glorious sex machine? Mitchell. Yep, Mitchell is one fat. Shut your mouth. Just talking about Mitchell. Looks like Grendel. <laughs> Hey, Linda Evans, that was her pre-Yanni day. Yeah, before her face was pulled taut. <laughs> it's kind of like a slow-motion sneeze. <laughs> yeah, here's your loser actor bouquet. Yeah. Any movie with Waka Jawaka in it is okay by me. Waka Chika Waka Chika Waka Chika Waka Chika Waka Chika It was the 3rd of September. Good day I'll always remember. Never corner a Mitchell, see how he reacts. Looks like he's doing a Nixon. Looks like a middle-aged Chucky. He looks like the wrathful Buddha. He looks like the moon in A Trip to the Moon. <laughs> Man, I can't get my arms down. <laughs> now he looks like a smallmouth bass. <laughs> now he looks like he's in a wind tunnel. <laughs> well, um, maybe he's doing Tai Chi or something. Mitchell's on the corner. Mitchell! Stemlo. Watch out for snakes. <laughs> We've hidden the Mitchell somewhere in this picture. Mitchell, will you stand up, please? The lunatic is <laughs> on the grass. <laughs> Johnny Nash breaks into a suburban home. Mitchell. Hey, it's one of the kids from Fame. Which one? Any of them. <laughs> Johnny Mathis. It's not for me to say. The Green Hornet. This little thing, she can't be more than 16. Every time she gives me a manicure, she tells me she's having a different affair. And she tells me everything. I mean all the real hot and juicy details. <laughs> I can't even keep my fingers still. Must be a faculty meeting. I'm thinking. Ah, uh, it's open. <laughs> Looks like he's breaking out of his house. Al Noga? No, nope. still Johnny Mathis. Oh. Oh, yeah, close it and lock it. You don't want anyone coming in. <laughs> Dr. Detroit. With songs by Devo, Cutting Crew, and Haircut 100. I say to myself, it's wonderful. A picture of Mo Connolly? Oh. No, not the limited edition Star Trek collector plates. Hey, Lucas McCain lives here. They're on a collision course to wackiness. <laughs> All right, last call. Drink them up. Let's not talk. Okay. <laughs> hey, oh, a gold star. Move it along, please. Should I tell her? <laughs> Ladies, you know where everything is? I want you to exercise the bottomless resources of your imagination. Ah, uh, can I have a lamp? Surprise me. The way you always do. Come on, Don, let's get some juice. Okay. Fresh panties all around. <laughs> Might be able to kiss her tonight, you know. <laughs> and the hell does he think I am, an acrobat? And she's an acrobat, Ted. Santa? Wait a minute, I think maybe the Snoop sisters are in there. Yeah, I'm gonna get a series before Stuart Margolin. Johnny Mathis. All right, get my gun. Well, you know, it's not often you see Johnny Mathis in the wild. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need some clean underwear? Ooh, and one of these. Hey, a gundaroo. <laughs> Psst, don't shoot me, the burglar. 
So are we gonna play bridge? We got ourselves a fish dog. No, no way. Uh, hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Cedar Lattice works every time. Chances are, huh? If that's John Saxon, I'm dead. Sonny, are we like Bates? We're closed. Maybe I should get back to work. Hey! What? Oh! Meanwhile, on an Adam 12 episode not far away, Our hero, ladies and gentlemen, right there. <laughs> 22, can you give me a fix on Mapleton Drive? Is it off Beverly Glen? This is 22. You've got it. It's one block east. All right. Um, just five more minutes. Mitchell, honey, we're home. Put your shoes on. Well, private enterprise beat us to it, huh? <laughs> Hello, public sector. Hey, what do you say, Jimmy? Hello, Tom. Where's the body? In the den. We posed him. around here? No, nah, that's okay, thanks. We'll take off then. It's all yours. Sure. Ah, uh, rent a cops, private enterprise. Why don't you go back to the mall? Hey, you coming, Mitchell? Yeah. You got any more tell that's rags, toilet paper or something? Come on, Mr. Two Years from my side. Come on. I'm all the Zini officers just come this way. Looks like one of those wet bags. Hey! hey. Wall full of gun from my gun rack. Fortunately, I got another gun sooner. Oh, smart. He grabbed that coat. I had no choice. I had to shoot him. Well, you're rich and white. I don't see a problem with it. Mm. A pretty clean job. Come on, it's fun! You got a sofa I could stretch out on for a little while? Oh, there's a the body. Hey, here, watch what happens when I step on his abdomen. I think he's gonna need a bigger body bag than that. All those guns loaded? Some of them. Not always sure which. They're randomly loaded. It's a little game I play. All your guests loaded? The guests are leaving. Party's over. Time to call it a day. Anybody thought I could leave? I did. There's a police investigation going on here. Oh, there is? I thought there was just a big slob walking around my house. Where's it, John? I'm going to flush this. My guest has to be at his desk at 8 in the morning. He's an important person. The secretary will give you their names and addresses. And disavow any knowledge of their actions. Man, he's good. Mitchell, pardon me, Mitchell. Hey, can I have a scotch? What's your name? Mitchell. Why? Right. What's yours? Well, find him wherever he is. Raise Alex, will you? Well, he's talking to Commissioner Gordon. I can hold him to Stretta. Tell him to talk to Galano. Okay, sleeve length 34, 36 inch out seam, and a 32 inch in seam. Okay. Orson Bean, he's a cop. I told Miss Strata to talk to Galano, I think. Mm -hmm. Mitchell. Wow. People don't like you. In fact, I don't care for you myself. Why is that? Perhaps our brief but bitter affair? You refuse to sign this report. Why? There, I'm still on the first question. What kind of a policeman are you anyway? Uh, what are you going to do, file a separate report? I don't know. What do you know? Uh, I don't know. None of Deanie's other guns were loaded. Now, the collection's way up high on the wall. The burglar, he only looks to be about 5'4", is all. So, what does that prove? Mm -hmm. If Deanie's lying, he's not going to get away with it. I'll come over there. You're going to get me mad, Mitchell, and when that happens, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Now, get out. Right. Mitchell's a <laughs> sensible cop. See, Aldridge, you got an assignment for you. And remember, don't you dare go near Deanie. You forget about him. 
<gasps> they arrested Harlan Ellison. Good. <laughs> come in, Mitchell. Take a seat. Mom said no, huh? Uh, so you come to me, the nice cop. What he sounds and smells like William Conrad. Chief Powell has ordered the surveillance of a man called James Arthur Cummins. James Arthur Cummins. Yeah, you heard him? No. It's a 24-hour surveillance, and I want you to stay with him. So, A, you bug him enough that he cracks, or B, he comes up with some kind of statement or incriminates himself concerning a crime in Mexico. Or C, okay. you get drunk and pass out again. Like you get nobody. Hmm? Nobody. Uh, what I do for sleeping? How about eating? Nothing's gonna happen in the middle of the night. Oh. I wanna eat. You got six hours shut-eye from midnight to 6 a.m. But eating! Now, Mitchell, those are Palin's orders. I'm hungry. You wanna call him? See, Tyzak, he'll take you to Cummins' place. Import-export of stolen merchandise. That is Cummings' big scene. This week, it's a big heroin hijack. Comes out of Mexico. A kilo. Full kilo. Now, that's two million bucks. Maybe Palin's idea of a joke, but leaning on Cummings is no joke, my friend. No one leans on Cummings because he stamps on people, and he's got a big shoe. Well, let me ask you something. Yeah. Who are you? If Palin gave you this job of leaning on Cummings, would you say he's giving you a good assignment? Huh. Oh, don't suck, honey. I'd say that he was quietly shipping you out of the way. Well, I got them both, Deanie and Cummings. No way. You don't get them either. That's what Palin thinks, right? Right. Wrong. Excuse me, I don't feel good at all. Oh. Hey, man, thanks for driving me to my car. Nice to have it pre-parked at the stakeout. See ya. <coughs> Chico, don't be discouraged. The man, don't... Oh, don't, don't do that. Oh. Mitchell! Handicap? Boy, Flo's really gonna be mad. I'm drunk again. Yeah. 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 Stop or my heart will explode. Come in. Uh, Mitchell, police department. Benefits not due till January, son. Uh, Mr. Cummins, make an appointment, son. Have your chief give me a ring. Mr. Cummins. No salesman at this entrance. But I'm not a salesman. I'm the chubby blue line. As an actor, Merlin Olsen hadn't found his instrument yet. What ho, the thing with the dealo. Yeah, I think there's a potato cake in here or something. He seems down. I'll send him a pick me up bouquet. Somewhere an Indian is crying. Oh, I'm gonna call Lady Bird Johnson. Fluffernutter! All right, now, what do you want? Well, I've got some questions. No questions. Now, what do you know about a man named Estrada and some heroin hijacked down in Mexico? Heroin? Yeah, Cuernavaca, Mexico, uh, about a kilo. So, you know, a truck, ambushed, hijacked, you know. Look, Mitchell. I'm King Hussein. This is Los Angeles, California. I don't know anything about heroin. Or somebody's got his wires crossed. Oh. We're not in New York. Well, I've been told to watch you, Mr. Cummins, so I guess that's what I'm going to do. Can I give you some advice, then? Oh, yes, sir. Watch out for falling rocks. Oh, okay. So, you uh, got any burgers or something in there? Oh, really? Uh, oh. Man, I'm constantly confused. Oh, <laughs> watch out for falling rocks, huh? <laughs> Stupid. And that was the midnight edition of the news on KKRO. Hey, Crow Radio. Good night, John Boy. Fallen rocks. I just don't get it. Lights. Your lights. I miss him. Well, almost time for silk stockings. Hi, Larry. I love your show. Cummins, give me a Mistretta. Mistretta, what's this about a load of merchandise I'm supposed to be shipping in? I got cops sitting on me. They tell me this and I don't know it. You what? Wearing what? Is it sheer? Get over here and don't argue with me. Not that quickly. Ooh. Oh, no, it's candy. Hmm. Just drive around the block. <laughs> Hi, Dad.
Loved you in the taking of Pelham 123. Hey, you want the radio? King Biscuit Flower Hour's on. What's bugging you? Listen, you punk, for the future, next time you start something, you tell me before you start it, not afterwards. And ship the dope someplace else. I got this cop on my tail. It's just that Mitchell guy. He's on the water coming. What's on the water? Smoke. Merchandise. Oh. It's not coming through my facility. You can't go nowhere else. Why not? Why not? Because that's the way Mr. Galano wants it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And because maybe it's in San Pedro now or tomorrow. It's too late coming. Hey, look, an Applebee's. Huh. Well, if it comes through San Pedro, I'm not going to touch it. And if now, I will not touch it. <laughs> oh. Cummins, you are not in a position to say such things. You can't handle the truth. Before you open your big mouth again, you better think of Mr. Galano. You know, this may be the wrong ride. Are you Steve? I say it, boy. Well, let's go do that little um, expedition we were okay. thinking over. Okay, now, you guys, we got about three minutes before we're due back in the theater, so we got to do this outward bound experience. Toot sweet, okay? Servo, you know the drill. Roger. Joel lowers us into the refuse trench, and we have but 90 seconds to field strip ourselves and reassemble ourselves while dangling by our popos in the stinky darkness. Ready? Mm hmm. Commando Crow, you ready? Ah. Rose Frost. Ah. You kids, be careful. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll bring them back alive. Let's go. Action Jackson is my name. Boy! See you later. Oh! Oh! Oh, the light dog, oh, guys! Guys! Oh, hey, the uh, evil underpants. Hey, guys. Oh, uh, hello, sirs. Don't worry, doctor. I knew when we brought him on, we'd have to eliminate him. That's half the fun. Yes, Frank, but how? These things must be done delicately. <laughs> After all, he knew going in that this was only a temporary situation. Yes, and now I want this temporary situation taken care of permanently. <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing? He's been a canker sore on my gum line for too long. The way he struts around like he owns the place. Pa! Let's use method number 53, hmm? Yes. Elegant, painful. And leaves nothing behind but the great smell of brute. <laughs> Let's do it now. No, no, patience, my little henchman. Let's wait until after the experiment. <laughs> yes, brilliant. Make him work for it. Yeah. And then? And then our little bejumpsuited fool will be history. <laughs> Get back to work! Jumpsuit! Fool! They're going to kill Joel! They're going to kill Joel! They're going to kill Joel! Help! What do I do? What do I do? I gotta get him out of here! They're gonna kill him! Help! Easy, girl! Take it easy! Calm down! Breathe through your nose! Oh, here we go! That does it! Easy does it! Okay! 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 They're going to kill Joel! Ah! 55 minutes. Oh, that was fun, huh? Good, Good in, job. Huh. Log this report. It's time to... Uh, Mitchell, hello? 24, 17 hours. I'm at the Dini residence. I'm putting my gun in the glove compartment and locking it. I uh, just had a French dip. 55. What's that supposed to be? 55. Agree me? If I'm shot in the next couple of hours, I was unarmed when it happened. Log it. 55 out. Man, speaking of logging it, I better find a bush around here. Mitchell. 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 Go about your business. Oh, God. Hey, Mitchell. Shh. Oh, oh. I 
Oh, honey, Mitchell's here. Oh, whoa, is that a beer? Pain on my chest. My hand's tingling. Oh, shoot. A door. I didn't plan on this. Oh, man, I love this. I got soap. I got dog poopy. This week's practical joke. The victim, John Saxon. Man, if I could just sit on a lawn chair for five minutes, that's all I'd need. Boy, what a clean garage. No bikes, sleds, or oil spots. Do you know who did it? Have you figured it out yet? Uh, Mitchell, do you want to come in? Liquid metal. Reynolds wrap. Keeps freshness in, can't keep Mitchell out. That's my plan. I smell crab dip. Hmm. Melmac? Why would he be collecting Melmac? Uh, an empty plate breaks my heart. Keith Herring was here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I'll try for a quick 40 winks here. <gasps> that means the victim was Jack Valente. What are you doing, Mitchell? Why are they playing Nadia's theme? They're young and restless. That's a reach. Huh. Just browsing. Booger! Mitchell. Mitchell. Your eye on the sandwich. Mitchell. Heart's pounding. Mitchell. Veins clogging. Mitchell. Oh man, this is hard to do after six sour cream burritos. The cloistered life is not for me. Would you give me that? It's fish. Hi, Zach. We can't name a series after you, sorry. Same hey, he looks like a guy from a Dave Burke cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell are you up to, Danny? And what I tell you, I told you to forget Deanie. Do you know who he is? Yeah, he's a trade union lawyer. And I gave you a direct order to forget him. Now, why'd I give you that order? And none of that I don't know. I'm going to tell you why. Every federal law violation is Every broke. federal law violation. And they're against Deanie and his trade union. They've been working on this thing for over two years. Now, in the meantime, you get back out there on Cummins and you stay with them. Deanie is FBI property. Right, boss. Find my upper lip while you're out there. <laughs> A little peek into Mitchell's life. Damn, it's almost time for Bozo. Yeah, go for the gusto, Mitchell. <laughs> Is that you, Ma? Hello. Oh, Derek. I'm your new friend. Well, Linda Evans, okay. actually. Huh? I'm selling Yanni tapes. Uh, just got to adjust my Roscoe here. Hmm. Come on in, friend. Hmm. Where's John Derek? Should we set another place for him? So, do you work at a petting zoo? Hmm. Hmm. Uncle Fester? Uh, oh, no. Someone drink? What do you have? Beer and vodka. <laughs> Beer. You like them half empty? Some of them got cigarettes in them. Oh, this is so embarrassing. He's playing a Kitaro album. Uh, sorry about the porn. There's a Kilgore trout piece in there. It's... <laughs> I wouldn't sit there. Uh, other side, please. Uh, 
Well, there's some chips under the cushion. Help yourself. Don't you think I'm as good as anything here? Well, uh, you got an airbrush on you? You've got me wrong. I'd like a glass. <laughs> okay, Your Majesty. <laughs> we got these at Conoco. They got Dick Buckus on them. Ew. Ew. Uh, you want a towel? No, I'll use the curtains. You want to lick it off? Absolutely not. Well, she was going to smell like beer sooner or later. Sorry, the beer got a little excited. That's okay. We can just cuddle. What? Uh, what? Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, Sorry, I'm a really unappealing one. So, more beer? Uh, it's Bugsy Malone. <laughs> That's great. What was that? Oh. Oh, they're taking the boys to play group. Oh. Nice cap. Mobsters laughing, really smiling, a man selling heroin. Ah, uh, the spotted cuckoo bird is flying backwards. It's a cold day for pontooning. Hello, Mr. Galano. Not Rappaport. Last night, I had to come to my home, Salvador Mistera, my cousin. Because I'm Italian, you know. complaints against you. He's a punk. Did I tell you I'm Italian? Uh -huh. Let me restate that. Who convinced you to finance that hijack? You know, if you want drugs, you can grow them, you can buy them. But... Hey, where's Ruth Fuzzy? He's stealing, it's greedy. May I remind you of something? I'm uh, from Italy. Sure. In August of 1963, you, me, and some others, we had a very fine meeting. He was hastily put together, wasn't he? <laughs> in which we allowed you influence in this area in exchange for certain assignments to be handled by you. So, that was very generous, yes? We? Oui. Fair enough. Now it's your turn. To be a what are you can to be. take delivery uh, of Salvadori's shipments through your contacts at the port, okay? I'm not bringing that shipment in, and that is fine. <laughs> the shipment's in. <laughs> yep. Well, time for my step aerobics class. Hey, boss, you really did great. Your personal skills are something. <laughs> Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> I'm almost Anthony Quinn. Was Merlin ever in the Dave Clark Five? Are you? It was a big time when big men drove nothing but huge Ford cars. See? Hmm. Honey, I'm home. Had that meeting with the gangster. Mitchell is one of the great followers. Mitchell, I made a decision about you. I got a lot of things in my mind at the moment. Now, you're getting too heavy to carry. I'm sorry, you feel that way, Mr. Cummings? It's heavy. I do. Now, you're going to get lost or not? Well, I'd like to, but there are some questions that... You're saying no. I'm saying no. I thought I'd give you the chance. Oh, that was sweet. He didn't have to do that. Thanks. Uh, say, boss, do you think Mitchell likes me? Shut up and drive. Is your friend ready? Yes, sir. He's ready. Who, Rosie Greer? This is what I'll remember when I think of the movie Mitchell. Mm -hmm. And I will think of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I lost him. Oh, nope, there he is. Mitchell, even his name says, is that a beer? <laughs> well, you know, they're easy to follow when they use their turn signal. Man, why don't they just tie their bumpers together? <laughs> you know, it's not an official chase scene without the walk at your walker. Yeah. Hot merging action. Oh, goodness, they merged successfully. Ooh. My heart was in my throat. Mitchell. Jeez, these guys couldn't shake a trolley. <laughs> this makes driving Miss Daisy look like bullet. Next week on Mitchell, the Clover Lane. And today, three others of Vibrant Company, combining innovation, effective risk management, and marketing. 3M. Oh boy, they're traveling at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. We've seen faster funeral processions. 
the only really exciting thing is that Vanishing Point is being filmed on the other side of the canyon. <laughs> oh, this is nice. They're using the light rock for the chase scene rather than the grunge sound. I like the light rock. Oh, finally, the chase scene's pace car. Yes, the Lincoln Continental, perfect for off-road excitement. I can't shake him, boss. Uh, here, I'll lightly touch the brake and then accelerate. <laughs> Hey, get out of our chase seat. The vicious Mustang calls the weak ones from the herd. Hey, you Mitchell, can I not have your autograph? Well, so passive you're gonna. Come on. Excuse me, may I cut in? May I have this chase? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any facial expressions? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Larry Miller. So why does it keep downshifting with an automatic? <laughs> I'm a hot rod Ben Hur. <laughs> and him. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do own the road. <laughs> hey, the headlight fixed itself. Hey, it's Mitchell. Your thing is dragging. Mitchell. Miller. I know a little shortcut down. Oh. Mitchell. Oh, uh, shouldn't we exchange information? Shook up the beers pretty bad. Hey, cut out that Rockford music. I'm Mitchell. Mitchell. Hmm. Hey, it's a booze pool. I'll have a vodka chlorine, please. Yeah. Rudy. Tootie. I got pressure. Who's pushing? Miss Stretta. Miss Stretta? You yeah. can handle him. Well, there are problems. Unless, of course, he's backed by Galano. You got it. What the hell are you calling me for? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, it's about a little discussion between me and Mistretta. Or Galano. You want a short answer, Collins? Mistretta. You want to get the same answer off any of the boys? If Galano's involved, or I don't want any part of it. Or Galano. That was Mistretta. Yeah, this is all going to blow up pretty soon. And when it does, who have we got on our side? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! If he's still around. He's not on our side, sir. Yes, he is. I'm no good to him dead. P-O-E, um, working like a dog, got to think how to get Joel off this ship, how to get Joel off, charter flight? No. How? How? How to get Joel off this ship, but how? Boy, I'm frustrated. Well, back at it. Throw him? No. Hey, Gypsy, oh, working oh. on a project, huh? Oh. Have you seen my Inside the PGA around here anywhere? No, Joel, I haven't seen your magazine anywhere. Oh, it's got this great article on Fuzzy Zeller. Joel, if you were faced with your imminent death and had to get back to Earth like Pronto, how would you do it? Oh, come on, I'd never leave you. But, Joel, your imminent death! Gypsy, honey, I could never leave you. It's oh. all for one and one for all. That's the Robinson way. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuzzy Zeller. What a great guy. Oh, oh, I can't tell Joel. He would never leave. I'm alone with my heavy burden. On we! Wait, I've got Tom and Crow to help me. I'm sure in a pinch I can depend on them to be serious and calm and intelligent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, oh. what's next? What's next? Okay, hard cast Lemon McCormack. Okay. Ride, riding like the oh, demon no. that drives your tree. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey, what you doing, Gyps? This is very, very, very important. Just a guitar lick. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Can you two keep a secret? No. Nope. Never could, never will, Gypsy. <laughs> okay, oh, Crow, how about Bonanza? No. Including the words. Oh, okay. It's all right if I pick a little pipe Bonanza. Oh, I'm being tested. Oh. Who? Who is testing Gypsy? Hello? Well, I will prevail because I am good and the mads are evil. But, oh! oh, you guys got 
Dad, we'll be right. They want to do something later, maybe? Got the correct time? Yeah, 10 to. 10 to your own damn business. 10 to 12. <laughs> Noon or midnight? That guy coming sure gets around. It's uh, sure some schedule he's got. Don't thing. bother me, mister. The anti-social type, huh? Private type. Mm -hmm. And you should let other people have that privacy. Uh, my face hurts. What was that all about? Ah, Daryl Gates on his day off. Hey, I'm putting here. He's landed just short of the green. Oh, no, Mr. Trevino's been hit again. <gasps> <laughs> Isn't that cute? He's trying to tell us something. Hey, can we play through? We got a head wound hey, back here. you want to hold this? I got to go call headquarters. Mm -hmm. oh, that Merlin is lost without a map. Don't laugh, you're only encouraging him. <laughs> Mitchell. Oh. The new Chrysler Fury, a car that thinks it's a house. I can't believe it, I'm in trouble for killing a civilian. I thought your job was coming. I've been busy. Oh, really? Hey, is that guy with a leg wound, has he talked yet? Nope. You may be facing a disciplinary charge for shooting. Hmm. Hey, what the hell, you wanted him for two weeks no bail, that's how you got him. I didn't expect you to shoot him. Oh, you're asking that, Aldridge. I thought I had authority over him. You shouldn't have blown your cover like that. I'll go phone headquarters. Yeah, pass the potatoes, the well, peas, the butter, the peas, please, the pie, please. the butter. Of course you're not ashamed, and that's your trouble. Yeah, trouble. Uh, pass the gravy and the stuffing. Yeah. Don't be a Mr. Mitchell. Oh, well, that's one of mine. Yeah. You know, this is the part of being a henchman I hate. Can I tempt you with some dessert? I don't think Ben likes you. Mm -hmm. uh, can we get more volume on that jacket, please? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's your trouble. Not so many people like you. You gotta cultivate people, go out to them. Yeah. Win their confidence. You never know when they're gonna come in useful. Yeah, and you gotta be nice to them. Oh, uh, nice. More butter, please. Well, what about the heroin, Mr. Cummins? Forget the heroin. That's for dessert. You ask about the heroin over the soup. That's your trouble. You're impatient. Now you went at that guy as if he was going to do you some harm. I want to find out who he was. Well, ask him. Don't shoot him. Who was he? Hmm. Well, I didn't ask him. I shot him. <laughs> uh, Booker. Ed Booker. Booker's a good cop. Booker. 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 Who's got the Booker? Boca. With a double C. Edmundo Boca. Like the soup? Goes with my tie. Yes. Now you got this place laid out like a real banquet, Mr. Cummings. Or a business dinner. We might talk business later. Come and have some more soup, man. Uh, there is no more soup, sir. Now, I sense he's lying, but why would he lie about the like soup? like that in my own house? No more soup. My dinner with Mitchell. Well, it works for Miss Dredder. That's the first piece of information you come up with, Mr. Cummins. How about letting us in on some? Matt, and what are you doing with those steaks? You growing them? <laughs> you can't grow steaks. <laughs> Oh, wait, I want that bone marrow. Oh, boom mic, big time. Woo. Do you want to take all night feeling that orange? Well, I thought maybe we might talk about the uh, shipment. Would you just give me that orange? I have a new friend. Oh, uh, hey, I put a couple of rolls in my pocket. Is that okay? But what I want to know is... The coffee's cold, Benton. You're a lousy butler. I am not a lousy butler. You are butler. a lousy butler. I am not. I say you're a lousy butler. The coffee is cold. Well, I think I gotta Certainly go... It's a servant by Harold Pinter. Oh, look. You made Mitchell leave. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Only two steaks for dinner. Didn't get to finish my orange. All the frozen yogurt places were closed. Ugh. Mm. You know, big buttery moon up there. Sidewalk kind of looks like ice cream if you squint hard. Stairs look like cake. Mitchell's legions of fans show up at any time of the day or night. 
Well, this will be okay. I don't see. Oh! Jeez, oh, those Jehovah Witnesses are getting tough. Whoa. Oh, no, they're going to end up with Mitchell's dinner all over them. Oh, oh, wait. Hold it. A little piece of bacon. You know, is it wrong for me to want to see the. No. Ooh, right in the tenderloin steak region. Oh, sorry, bud. We thought you were Rockford. Uh, I think this is rice. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> well, old Mitchell sure got himself hogtied and railroaded there. Man, 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 Mitchell. Oh, he's alone reading a comic book under there. Mitchell, honey, do you have any new age or something? Well, he's sleeping with Helen Keller. Do you think you are some kind of a star like the guys on the movie screen? Oh, how I long for the burning bed right now. Hmm. Got a lot of junk around here. Well, oh my, 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 Mitchell. What would you? Why would anyone want to do this with Mitchell, Joel? If you knew you were hanging around. Oh, face or two faces? Two faces. Shooting up the town. Though you've been out there rounding up the syndicate, succeeding with you. Mm. Oh, Yanni, I, I mean, John, I mean, oh, Mitchell. My, 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 Mitchell. Shoot them just to get them in jail. Hey, watch this and learn this in college. Check this out. Here comes class. <laughs> Baby oil! Oh! 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 My, my, my God, no! <laughs> How could you maybe get aroused, Mitchell? Maybe just oh, come on. <laughs> Um, how about some BTO? You went through that Tuesday. And I still don't have any yeah. Tic Tacs. But this is Thursday. He makes a good point. Mm. You get busted for this. God, it must be have to be very straight. You implying that I'm not straight? <laughs> They're boozy but lovable. You're as bent as Tower of Pisa. Your only trouble is you don't know it. You really think I'd take some sort of a payoff, huh? Baby. You already have, haven't you? Hmm? Oh, wait a minute. You were a Christmas gift. I wanted a super soaker. Yeah. I... Didn't you? Damn right. You meant to make me the cooperative type. So you just watch your pretty mouth. Ooh. So bust me. You're a policeman, and that's grass. Merlin also <laughs> sent him that painting. <laughs> My Mitchell, I think I'll keep him. Come on, come on. Oh. Are they done? Can I look? You sure know how to bring a girl down. Uh, double room, please, one night. He sleeps with me, then bust. First things first. Well, she asked me to. What? Sleep with her or bust her? Both. I will be taken wah, into wah, account, wah, Mr. Adams. Uh, when your case is heard, have you any other offenses you'd like for us to take into consideration while you're in this kind of a mood? Yeah, he hung up on this guy. That's a mistake, lady. Didn't do me any good. Not an offense. When can I see my lawyer? We'll take care of it for you. Uh, you're sleeping but with I'm him at three? It'll take an hour or so. Hey, that's only a $500 fine. a $1,000 a night. You're still ahead. Not after taxes. Oh, you're a terrific human being, Mitchell. I had a clean record in this town. Sirens. Oh. Hey. Make sure she signs the property receipt. Nobody asks for a prostitute. We take her right away. Are we still on for Tuesday? Hey. You really sleep with her? Yep. And then I kissed her. <laughs> Hey, Wally. Mitch. That beneficial, you're good for more. The declining years of Lee Majors. Ask him to come in. Say that it's important. Say that I have to see him. Yes, sir. Tell him we have sour cream. Hmm? Hmm. 
Oh man, this stakeout's getting crowded. Hi folks. <laughs> the, the steaks are ready. Are you gonna Linda come too? So tell me Merlin, uh, do you know Roman Gabriel? I think you're a good butler. Moving on up. Wheezy. This way. Wall drug. You want a drink? Uh, is the Pope Catholic? Sit down. Want to shoot a beer bong? All right, Mitchell. Why don't we stop messing around? What does that mean? I want to put you on the payroll. We have an opening in retail. Now look, I'm in trouble. You sensed it. You know it. And I know it. Specifically, what trouble? Well, the idea of the payroll. Now, I get to ask the questions. Noted. I need help. I've got a purple mole on my back. I need help from any source that I can get it. So I'm down to you. Put it on the line. I want to buy your services, your voice on the phone, in case I need the help of your police department. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, write the details of your bribe down, Mr. Cummins. It's a Shriner's car. <laughs> oh, place in the shade. <laughs> Ooh. He pulled out right in front of me. Grump. Well, she's got a David Cassidy haircut. Ooh. <laughs> she's gonna write red rum on his windshield. <laughs> red. Oh. No. Oh. He'll think of me the whole time he's cleaning that off. Uh, were you expecting a prostitute? Word on the street is you're a jerk. Could be open. Cash. Subtle, just the way you take it from other people. Uh, I don't take bribes. Well, they do take bribes. Down at City Hall, so they saw you in court this morning with a hooker that you sleep with and occasionally arrest. What else they tell you? She's too expensive. You can't afford her on a policeman's salary. Now somebody's picking up the check. Who could that be? Are you? Me what? You're picking up the check. No, I don't. I don't pay for your hookers, Mitchell. Well, could but you? Who is? You mean you don't know? You're a cop, and you don't know. No, I don't. <laughs> I specifically came here for dinner. Yeah, give me some flowers pronto, Merlin. No, wait, you're not leaving without some tuna wiggle. Oh, it, damn. It's got a light emitting bald spot. <laughs> Someone to see you, sir. I knew you'd call sooner or later. So, are you ready to join Hair Club yet? Mine. Jodon Baker, face number four. Hey, hey Jodon. Hey. No. Yeah. Prostitute? How do you like your scotch? Uh, by the court. Come on, more. Come on, keep it coming. I'm a big boy. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I usually take it with a ding-dong in it, but uh, I guess I'll take it neat. That's okay. You know... Booze is good food. I admire a man like you. Uh, not you, specifically. Take your time. You're cool. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know, he may be a bad guy, but he's got a ton of gifts up there. Sure hmm. does. How's the broad? That's what I came to talk about. You know what it costs to keep you sweet? A hundred bucks an hour. Tells me it happens all night. But you figure it out. That's like a thousand bucks before breakfast. Hmm? As far as I'm concerned, she's just some broad looking for a little action. <laughs> you want to see the receipts? You're wasting your money, Danny. Let me be the judge of that. She'll lie in my bed for nothing. Well, I guess I'll have to talk to my accountant. You really think so? I'm turning Japanese. Hmm. Let me show you what I got for Christmas. I arrange a $100 company in your name. You mean Orion? I negotiate the transfer of a piece of real estate. Cross to fireplace. Well, let's say... I'm Rosalind Russell. $25,000. You haven't got $25,000, but I'll get your bank loan. All legitimate. The real estate you buy will be a piece I designate, and you'll buy it from one of my subsidiary companies. Oh, man, then I'm so lost. I'll buy it off you. 
for, let's say, 100 Gs. That'll give you a clear profit of $75,000. And who's to say it isn't a genuine investment? Is that a Slim Jim? Can I have that? Are you done with that? Do you open your Christmas presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Well, what do you think? I'm going to get you for that murder. But first, Merry Christmas. Oh, that's right. You're making the biggest mistake of your life. Yep, another Wednesday night at Mitchell's. Our hero, ladies and gentlemen. I am, and I'm still not drunk. Life should be. Oh, my goodness. I think B.J. Thomas is in his room. Oh, yuck. I got a cigarette. Yep. I'd like to top off my beer drinking with another beer. It's like dessert. It's a very special Joe Don Baker Christmas. Hey, hey, no, hey. Uh, <laughs> Booze and I are buying a house together. We're going to move in. He's going to strip down to his underwear and watch McHugh. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what this thing does here. What, the water? <laughs> I never knew that. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, thank God for the jump cut. Walter Hardini died today with a dune buggy. Honey, church. Mitchell, I'm not going to your folks for Christmas. Damn, I'm still in this Mitchell movie. Adam Rich. Oh, Hi. Hi. Are you the man from the insurance? Nope. You came last night. No. My mother doesn't like you. I don't like your mother. Why not? Why not? No, why not? No, why not? Why are you repeating what I say? Tonight on Crossfire. Why are you repeating what I say? I'm not. Well, I'm not. You are. That's all. What? What? What did he say? What did you say? Did he say something? Ah! You're lying through your teeth. You're lying through your teeth. Your buzz off, huh? Buzz off! Your buzz off, buzz off kid! The inspiration for Cop and a Half. Give him a half block head start, then I'm gonna mow him over. Well, oh, Schlitz would listen to me right now, that's for sure. Did you ever have to make up your mind? Loving handful. Why don't you have me arrested? Because you want me to. No, I don't want you on an assault charge. I want everything. I want you and Mastretta and Alita Galano and the lousy heroine. Family, a career. Maybe you get him. I wonder if I should have a talk with you, Mitchell. I wonder if you should too, Cummins. You scared of coming to the house? No. I give you my word, nothing will happen to you this time. I'm not scared of you, Mother But I do have to use your washroom if that's all right. Let's get back inside before that kid comes back again. He's no Claude Aikens, but what a butt. <laughs> Mitchell. Sit down. Well, shut up, son. You don't drink, do you? Just poor dad. Well, this is the way it went. The Strata made the setup. With Galano. Enemy too late told me that the heroin was on the water coming through my operations at San Pedro. Now, he tells me when the stuff is already on its way. From the Strata. Well, don't close it. Don't close it. The Strata phoned a little while back. Oh, uh, you mean Galano. It was an ultimatum. I had an hour to reply. What are you going to do? I'm going to think, Mitchell. Sure. Then I'm going to call Miss Strata back and tell him that it was OK to use my port facilities. Port? And you got port here? I'm going to set it up, hand it over to you. Ta-da! That sounds just a little too good to be true. You buy it? How's this stuff going to come in? Well, a rich woman in a big car is going to pick up her luggage that she sent ahead after her vacation in Acapulco. You're going to be the chauffeur. Huh. Well, and that's going to be three fifty an hour. You rendezvous with Miss Strata. Galano. Where is it? He has a house in Calabasas. Now, you get the heroin, you get Mistretta. You don't get me, understood? You don't get me. All right, what time does this start happening? No time like the present. Well, it's too bad that scene had to end, eh? Rich woman, big car, see? See? Sweet Adeline. Mitchell, no. Oh, be careful with that horse, young man. We'll need your signature. Here, here, here. Initials here. And if you'll fill out this customs declaration. 
And what do I write under content? Personal. Oh, what time does your shift end? And value? Oh, $100. No, I mean street value, punk. You know, that Mitchell is really a master of disguise. Just had a nice chat with your mom. Take me to Wendy's. I'm meeting Clara Peller. We're going to control the ghetto, you and I, young man. Just keep driving, Hulk. I can't wear yellow. He's got a terracotta bowling pin lamp. Certainly does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me talk to Miss Treader. For you? Of course it is. It's my phone. Go on yeah. over here. Okay, Miss Treader. The consignment's on its way. Well, I hope everything goes smooth. There's one slight alteration in the arrangement. You know that cop that's been bugging me, Mitchell? He's bringing you this stuff. I don't believe you. I do. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm going to be out of my boat. Ha! Now you just tie up all the loose ends. Mitchell knows a lot. Now get the stuff and deal with them in your own way. Your boss is such a dink. I better call Mom. Oh, uh, Sergeant. Oh. Uh, you might want to tell Chief Pallon that uh, one of his boys, that uh, Mitchell character. Oh, the drunk one. Yeah, well, he's uh, heading for trouble in Calabasas. Uh, that's the cop that sleeps with hookers, right? Oh, I just felt the balloon break. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I thought maybe we could just stop here and just talk. Don't step out. Do you know how fast you were driving? I was. Okay, get in. All right, let's see the skag. Uh, here, let me explain what you're going to see. Oh, oh, no, I only wear that on special occasions. Uh, uh. But those are my fine washables. Uh. Hmm. Jeez, Scarface <laughs> didn't do that much at once. I didn't have anything to do with all this. You mean this heroin? Yes. It ain't smack, lady, it's chalk. Cummins is crossing the line -o. And we're passing the savings on to you. You sure you won't be in the middle of this? I can take the heat. Go on, take a walk, huh? What? Walk. But come my on, varicose move. veins. Now, come on. Oh, but my hip. Watch out for traffic. What a nice young man. You bait me, Mitchell. Quality's job one, yep. Hmm? Oh, he's going to take a little nip out of the gas tank. Oh, he's doing a magic trick with the car. We've never met before, have we? He's putting a dicky on his car. Yeah. Why did I do that? Yeah, I think things are turning around for old Mitchell. <laughs> Just keep walking, lady. I can still see you. Come on. Mitchell put a handkerchief on the back of his car. Run! Oh, no, oh, no, 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 I think they should have brought food or clothes or something. Okay, you guys, I call no singing and yelling at Tyler. How okay. do you think of it? I shied. I shied. Because it's... The gods must be crazy, look! <laughs> oh. It hurts. Gypsy. Well, we've got to do something. Here's a manifest for the satellite of love. Maybe there's something here that can help. Yes, yes, oh, yes, oh, please, 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 please. 
Okay, I assume you tried to gain control of the escape pod in Dock 14. Yes, I tried to gain control. There's an escape pod in Dock 14? According to this, there's a single occupant escape pod called the Deus Ex Machina. How could I not see it? Dumb, stupid, dumb. I wouldn't blame yourself, Gypsy. Apparently it's in a box marked Hamdingers. Well, no wonder we didn't see it. Nobody likes Hamdingers. So how do we get them down, huh? I don't know. These clowns must have control. Let's try this thing. Here it is. If, ah, the pod is controlled remotely at the tectronic panel, which must be this thing. If direct access from the satellite is desired, the security key must be inserted into the panel and the sequence C colon backslash CD backslash manual period EXE must be entered. Frank's got to have the key. He loves keys. Well, great. Frank's got the key, so how do I get him? Hey, Frank, can I borrow your keys? OK. Thanks. OK, here we go. Let's see, uh, C, colon, backslash, back, manual, EXE. I hate these things. Okay, it says direct access initiated. You're on your own, Gypsy. Uh-oh. Hey, what did you need my keys for? Um, your, your lights were on. Oh, okay, I can... Hey, I don't have a car. Well, then what did you give me your keys for? I don't know. I thought I left my lights on. I'm glad I didn't waste time shutting off your imaginary lights. Well, uh, I'm sorry. I've got control! Ooh, I've got to get moving! <sighs> Wait here. Oh, I'm alone. <laughs> we are two wild and crazy guys. Hey, we're the sons of the old lady you made to get out of the car and walk. Keys. You're welcome. <laughs> Come and says you're a cop. Well, that pretty much blows my cover. Where's that green pantsuit? Says you're the cop who keeps following him. He says, kill you. I think he has a point. He's leaving on a boat out of Marina Del Rey. I'm going to put your body on that boat and then call the Coast Guard. OK, <laughs> anything I can do? What made you come here alone? Come and said you were friendly people. Hmm, <laughs> minty. <laughs> OK, boy, where's the stuff? I think I hit it. Where? Uh, to the John at gas station outside the docks. Get here. Oh, would you kick my other knee to balance it out? Ooh. Oh, this must be Dateline NBC. <laughs> <laughs> the Is that the signal? The police! The police are coming! You hear me? The police are coming! So, are the police coming? Guys, let's take the car. Oh, yeah. Andy Kaufman? You're so stupid. Mitchell killed the sound. You're going faster than that car chase. Come back, you're so stupid. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Now, isn't it against the rules to shoot an opponent in the foot race? Taxi! Touchdown! Oh, like a salami's gonna help. Thank you very much. Mitchell. Well, let me see this a minute. There went Bronson. Uh -huh. Hi, we're grilling over here. Oh! Come here, Mitchell. Well, okay, you a cop or what? Uh, uh, uh. 
What's that? What do you mean you don't have any Schlitz on board? We've got to close the beaches. Mitchell, would you move over, please? The other way! Uh, can we turn on the radio? From maritime polymers for boats to the fuel in this helicopter, 3M building the future. Hey, it's the Starship Enterprise and Dry Dog. Oh, there's a boat to the marina. Get a description? Yeah, it's white, and it's a boat. You're looking for the proverbial needle. Let's try the harbor master. We'll take you in. 3M, innovation, research. Hey, Oh, you fly this thing then. Uh, that is no, no, wait, that's not, no, no, there, that's the uh, one. That, no, wait, I think it's at the. Oh, okay, I guess. Oh. It's the miracle acrylic bubble that makes it possible. Yeah, they call me my, 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 my Mitchell. I'm always busting heads, jumping in and out of bed. You? Mitchell, you should have thought of that before we left. Mitchell goes as big as his life. Now this looks positively Baywatchian. Mm -hmm. PT 90210. All done. Oh, zip off. We're supposed to go to some place called the Pacific Ocean. It said it's big and blue, it's got a lot of fish in it. Yes, the future belongs to Thria. Wait, is that Paul Hogan in the middle there? You guys get pretty good benefits. Boat mix two, the final time. Hey, check this out. My foot is huge. Give me that. Oh. Problem, Mac. We've got an hour's view. 80 miles. 40 out and 40 back. 20 minutes, we'll be in Mexican territorial waters. And no power to arrest anyone. Mm -hmm. Two minutes for Coach Roy to catch them? Right. Well, it's turning into an episode of Riptide. <laughs> Jimmy Osmond, all grown up. On the People's Court. Martin Balsam, the doer's profile. It's, it's been following us. There, let me show you around the rest of the cabin. Quick, Steve, hard bank turn now. I want to jump to my death. Mitchell, please, not here, honey. What a great action hero. He just pawns off his duties on others. What's the idea? You'll see. Just over the horizon. Mexican border. And it's all here at 3M's new facility in Mexico. Just keep going. You've got 10 minutes to find that boat, Mac. We're at the halfway point on fuel. We'll have to turn back. Harvesting the ocean's bounty for the future. Think those are Schlitz cakes? Uh, things will work out, Mr. Maxwell. Mr. Maxwell? Huh. Hmm. Oh, so the helicopter's chasing the boat. Pretty much. Uh. Andrew's getting a little thick around the middle. <laughs> Just tell me when this gets uncomfortable. Okay. I'm huge. Ooh. All right, now jig it off the bottom. Well, let's just not talk for a while. 
I still stand by the idea of the yellow thing. The hell? To <laughs> check out the rotors. Oh. Uh, what, wait. Oh. Oh, oh it's yeah. because yeah. Of the, yeah. And then I it, see. Uh, Helicopter. Uh, 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 I don't get it. Oh. Uh, uh, hmm? Mitchell. You know, I think things were a lot easier when Mitch was just sitting around outside Martin Balsam's house. Yep. Tell my wife I love her, Mitchell! Well, you are gonna lose a few. Wow, I didn't think he'd be that mad. He was my partner for seven years. So. <laughs> Looks like excitement by repetition. It's the maritime equivalent of rock climbing. Oh, that's weird. Oh, it's the, oh, oh, oh. Oh, what a mess. Uh, I could never do that in gym class. Uh, I dreamed I was Father Murphy. Um, guys, wasn't John Saxon in this movie? Oh, yeah. Mitchell! Hmm? You take the roughhousing outside. So it kind of hit me somewhere. Come here, go away, come here, go away. It's a pattern with them. These circle line tours are getting really brutal. They are. We're closed. Huh? Oh, right in the dinghy. Ouch. This is for the soup remark. Mannix, extra large. Oh, vaudeville. <laughs> or not. Oh. <laughs> uh, let me just tuck your intestines back in here. <laughs> and there on his colon was a hook. Well, let's see. I see Van Morrison, I see Meatloaf, and Spa. So long, chum. <laughs> <laughs> he refrigerates his bowling bag? Nah, this one's better. <clears throat> Out in a minute, Mitchell. I'm taking a shower. <laughs> Either those curtains go or I do. Dead calm. Dead clam. Mmm, boy, this sure is good booze. Captain Schlitz, I think your order's up. Ben? Harbor, Michigan. Ben? Da-dum. Um, I'll make sandwiches. You never take me alive, coppers. Hey, Mitchell! Yeah? Oh, damn. Mm. That's very impressive. Very smart, Mitchell. Very tough. Mm. You know that you and me have over a million dollars here? You hear what I'm saying? Over a million dollars right here in a bag. You don't have to be a pig for the rest of your life, Mitchell. Well, I kind of do. Hey, Mitchell, you're smart enough for something better. Oh, you're, you're smart, smart enough, Mitchell. Over half a million bucks. Take a look at it. You're gonna like it. <laughs> Let's rip off the last scene from Key Largo, Mitchell. I'm throwing it out. Grab anything frilly out of there you want. What are we talking about, him, Mitchell? Here's my gun. Mm, neat. No reason to fight. We're smart, we're both be okay. Okay, I'm gonna start taking off my clothes. You better stop me.
Counselor! So the deal's off, then. I think it was one of those effects too expensive to show. Yep. But I'll never grow old, I'll never die, and I'll always eat oatmeal. Mr. Roper, you home? Mitchell, licensed to slouch. Hmm. You know, it's about this time in any killing spree that you really ought to turn the gun on yourself, you know? Yeah. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, it, turn turn it, it. do the deed, do it. Hmm? Huh. My, 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 my apartment. Well, I'd knock, but I know I'm not home. Man, I love pulling my gun when I go in my own apartment. Scares my cats half to death. Hmm. Well, no one's disturbed his porn pile. Yanni, you're home. Oh. Okay, close. Hold it right there. That was close. All right, John Tesh, I know you're in here. All right, kitchen freeze. Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy, oh. Not a thought in her head. There. So, how was your day? Do you get a kick out of this kind of thing? Well, it has its moments. Yeah. How'd you get in here? Through the door. It was locked. Where'd you get a key? Yeah. I put my hands down now. Well, that's the kitchen. I had to eat. What, do you have Mickey Rourke uh, over or something? Well, you could at least wash the dishes. There's no machine. Hmm. Uh, look, where I come from, you're washing the sink and you dry it with a cloth. Now try it before you yeah, leave. Yeah, well, where you come from, beer's an entree. Hey! I'm not in the bathroom. Oh. Man, he's only got a couple more minutes left to be likable. You think you can pull it off? Oh, I doubt it. Hey, that shower wasn't bad. I've been afraid of it all these years. Wait a uh, minute. Would oh, you oh, stop, stop that? Watch oh. this. Ugh. I can't imagine why Mitchell, too, never came out. <laughs> Mitchell, honey, time to get ready for school. Joe? Well, no. Mm. Can I come in with you? Oh, God. Well, the chair over there folds out into a single. Well, what do you want to sleep with me for, huh? Yeah. Ain't nobody really? paying you this time. I'm doing it on spec. <laughs> do I smell pachyderms? Does it matter? Do you work with an orangutan? Grass. Yeah, that's grass. Oh, no wonder she's attracted to him. She's scared. <sighs> Where's your Cheech and Chong album? You got any Fruit Loops? God, I love him. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get your coat. <laughs> <laughs> Zero tolerance is so funny. <laughs> it's our Mitchell. <laughs> ma, 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 Mitchell. What would your mama say? She'd say, he's not mine, you can't prove it. Yeah. Oh, he sounds fun, doesn't he? <laughs> Put him on your feet, give your dogs a treat. What a comfortable shoe. When they take the hood to the Mustang got a credit. Oh, Hoyt, how could you? Huh? What? Hoyt, what happened? Nitrous. <laughs> no, Joe Don Baker would be perfect for Elvis, the dying days. 
the ladies and beat the phone. Bad guys quicker than a grief. Now it's just stream of consciousness. He stopped singing about Mitchell about five minutes ago. <laughs> Mitchell. We've got this letter to read. Uh, let's put it up on Still Store. Okay, this one comes to us from a woman. Second son, Cody! Uh, Ten, nine, Gypsy, eight, could no. you please turn off these emergency lights? We've got this letter to read. Sure! One expulsion! Oh, oh, oh. The hell is that? Yeah, where's Joel? Yeah. I can explain everything! Gambot, quit! Give me rocket number nine! Among his own in the wild. Hey, look! There's a prize inside that box of ham dingers. An escape pod. Hey, guys, look at me. Hey. I'm on my way to Earth. Pretty what? crazy, huh? Oh, uh, what about us? Yeah. Uh, what are we supposed to do without you? Uh, who's gonna teach us about what it is to be human and stuff? Yeah. Listen, you guys, at this point, you guys know as much about it as I do. Uh, listen, you know, I don't have a lot of time. My signal's starting to break up. I can tell I'm getting out of range. Listen, if you look under the desk, there's a plaque I made for you guys to put up to remember me by. Uh, yeah, here it is. Look, boy, nice job, Joel. Very professional looking. Really nice job. Uh, yeah, thanks. I, I really got to get out of here. I'm almost out of range. Listen, you guys, be strong and true. I love you. Bye. Well, it's been a big day. Who's hungry? No, oh, not yet. Doofus, oh. let's find out what's on the plaque. Oh, okay. Press that oh. button there. Oh. Uh, Recording. Uh, ah. To all on the satellite of love from Joel. Hey, that's us! Shh! Honey. The whole world is a circus if you look at it the right way. Every time you pick up a handful of dust and see not the dust, but a mystery, a marvel there in your hand. Every time you stop and think, I'm alive, and being alive is fantastic. Every time such a thing happens, you are part of the circus of Dr. Lou. What? What? Circus of Dr. Lou? Oh, oh gee, boy. brother. Joel leaves and his last words are from a George Pals movie? Oh, I thought it would be something profound, you know, like from the Psalms or the Upanishads or, or even the Desiderata for that matter. Last transmission from Joel coming in on Hexfield. Joel, buddy, the Circus of Dr. Lou? I don't get it. Hey, it's my favorite movie, so sue me. I gotta go, guys. Hey, see you later. Sorry, folks, I can't come back. Bye. I don't know how it works. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Wow. Oh, I'm going to miss him. <sighs> yeah, well, I guess he's gone for good, fellas, and that only means one thing. I'm in charge. What? Race you to the Mallow Cups? I found out where he hides them. Oh, Crow, too soon. <laughs> oh. Think they'll send us a new guy? Oh, sure. They're bound to. But until that happens... Panic! Ah! Panic! Ah! 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 Uh, nothing like a good shower to make one feel new again. Huh? I feel great. Nothing can get in the way of my good mood. What's going on, Frank? Oh, not much. Uh, inventory's under control. Uh, uh, floor needs mopping. Oh, <laughs> Joel escaped from the satellite of love. Oh, well, no. I see you've got the situation <laughs> well in hand. What? Joel escaped from the satellite of love? Oh, I'd better get started on that floor. <laughs> Frank? My towel and your hinder have an appointment. But first, we've got to rescue Joel. Oh, no. No! Frank! He's landed safely in the Australian outback. Well, let's just hope he landed on Yahoo Sirius. Oh, well, that's a good point, Frank, because... Frank! Can't you see we're ruined? What are we gonna do? Uh, well, we could send someone else into space. Who are we gonna find at this late date to send into space? Did you guys sign my time card? 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Frank? <laughs> yeah, you're not going to sign his time card, are you? Come on, you got to sign my time card. Of course, I'll sign your time card, young man. In fact, I think you're going to be working for me for a long, long time. <laughs> Push the button, Frank. <coughs> Say, Mike, what size jumpsuit do you wear? Mm. Do your teeth. Buzz off, huh? Buzz off. Buzz off, kid. <laughs>